Hi guys, I wish to take you through 2011 KCSE computer paper 2 and therefore the first question was the data in the tables below was extracted from a survey data on employment therefore you have the employment table with name, year of birth, employee, employee ID number, employer ID category and then we have these guys here you also have the employee type the, uh, that is table data that is we have job category job description then we have table 3 employers we have the employer id and employer name then uh, these are the expected question create a database name employment to store the data above 14 marks create relationship between the tables for uh, four and a half marks use forms to enter data you have ten and a half marks and also generate a report to display the name year of birth age and the employer's name for the employees uh, who will be over that years old by 2012 10 marks then you have compute the mean age of employees on the report two marks then we have create a query to display the employees and their job description save the query as mtp then we have create a pie chart based on the query in c1 above to display the portions of employees in various job description save the report as chart then you print the stuff therefore uh, what you, you are supposed to do is to create a folder then you start by creating the three tables therefore I presume you already know how to create the tables therefore the first table is the employee table therefore you just go and see how that data looks like and therefore we have the name we have the year of birth you also have the employee ID number this one should be known then employee ID we also separate that you also have job category and also year of birth is separate this one there is some space year of birth that way then this should be number uh, employee number can be number then we have the uh, these guys here therefore we can set this one as the primary key this one can be the primary key that is the employee ID number this one can be the primary key since there is no duplicates but you can just test you can just test yeah you see there is no error then we go to employee type now the employee type uh, this one you have the the that is the job category this one should be job job category then this one should be job description job description that way therefore for that case we can just uh, leave that one as that for that case though still this one can be the primary key there is no big deal in that then we go to employers that is the em employee employers table employers table you have the employer id you have the employer id and employer name we have an employer name good then we have employer ID employer ID here employer ID here cannot be the primary key then after having done that uh, for that case we can go and answer the questions as per the paper therefore the first question is can we have created the database therefore with the three tables therefore you are supposed to use forms to enter data uh, this one for me is an ambiguous question since you can enter data and then populate forms and the examiner may not actually know therefore you just score the marks by creating the forms therefore you just go to create uh, once you go to create you just go to form wizard you click on the form wizard then you send everything to the right then click finish 
the form that one is employer's form then you just go again create form wizard this time round you use the next table uh, you have created employers employee that way you close that one again you go again create form wizard then you use the employment send everything to the right and then finish therefore those are our, our forms we have just scored the 10 marks without uh, much struggle then we are supposed to generate a report to display the name year of birth age and employer's name for the employees who will be over that years old by 2012 therefore basically what you need to do uh, to create that one you need to be very keen and therefore for that case you need to know which query uh, has name uh, that is which table has name therefore you just go to this hit on query design then double click the three tables that way then you'll be in a position to see what the examiner needs uh, create name we need the name therefore you, you drop name we also uh, need we also need what before we have name uh, we have year of birth year of birth is here we also have age therefore age will be calculated field employer's name that means you go to employer's name employer's name for that case then age therefore age will be a calculated field and therefore you shall just type age equals to uh, 20 for example let me use the the year 2012 because that was the year the paper was done therefore it is uh, 2012 minus now the year of birth that way and then you tick this therefore this is the function that i i have used or the formula that i have used therefore it should be 2012 number is not enclosed in square brackets but text is enclosed in square brackets and for that case uh, i need to go back here design and then test my query therefore you see there you are that um, we have been a position to um, populate these guys therefore this query of ours uh, that is you need to create a report first of all mark that therefore this one you just save it the way it is query one like that but you can see there is a lot of duplication this is because there is no relationships created so far and therefore it is important we go to database uh, then relationships here you double click the tables then you can see that there is this field that is can be related uh, therefore if it says indeterminate that means there is no relationship that exists there but let's try this job description uh, still there is no relationship employer id now there is one to many relationship therefore let's just see how that one works let's just have the to fix that one therefore let's go to our tables first of all right click here you select object type therefore let's look at this we have job category text then we go to the next one employer id text employer id text you also have employer id text here this is number employee id number this one can be text that way then we go to database tool relationship we double click our fields we want to create relationship therefore we can have this one related to this i see therefore that means uh, that one cannot have the, the relationship the employer id in the dominant. therefore there is no relationship for that case job desk job category job category still there is no relationship there therefore we have seen that one and therefore there is no relationship um, among those tables unless we just try to be very keen and check therefore let's just go back and check we have the the employer id we have this one employer id but there is a lot of duplication 
employer id and also we have employer id this one should be bring a relationship for us just go back to our table we have employee table we go to employee table employee table we have employer id this one employer id therefore this one should uh, look from should look from employer's table employer's table therefore it should check on employer id for that case good so that you can have relationship for that case that way so that we when we go to this one here you see now we shall have uh, a bit of this one getting data from that is uh, this table should get data from the other one we save that therefore when you go to when you run this one and uh, you want to choose an employee then you see there is a relationship you just choose you are choosing from another table therefore that's how that relationship relationship uh, should be then uh, on the other hand we can proceed with our with our paper therefore we have created the relationship through the lookup wizard then we want to generate this uh, report here therefore we just go to create uh, report wizard you use square one set everything to the right next uh, next 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 this we can just call it age since we have not been told if i just can just call it age and therefore that is the 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 report but there is a restriction that those whose age will be greater than that greater than that that's what the paper reads uh, we should be will be over that that means 30 and above therefore equal over that it should be greater than that that's what that one means therefore this is how you do it you go to age and then in the category you write that or greater than that then for that case if i run this one i should only get those ones who are greater than 30 years and exactly when i run my report i should exactly get those ones who are over that years therefore you proceed compute the mean age of employees on the report therefore we need to compute the mean of these guys here if we just go to design view then you pull down here form footer you see you do calculations on sorry on report footer and for that case you just go to design and take a text box then you can just write here equals to d Therefore, to get the average, you need to type equals to average. Then you open the bracket age. You want the average of age, and therefore, you can just format that one. You need you need it to be the average, and also should be darker. that way then you save now once you save you just go to design and then view therefore uh, down here you should be in a position to get the average and therefore this is the average uh, age of those guys who are over 30 years therefore that one is answered and therefore we proceed to the next question create a query to display the employees and their job description save the query as mtp so we want to create a query we want to create a query we want to create a query therefore you just go to create query design then you make sure all your tables are visible you can pull this up here that way then we need to create a query to display employees and their job description therefore employee and their job description 
and their job description therefore the employee and their job description therefore that one is enough it's only the three marks then i save that one as mtp i click on ok then i save my work there we are then for just need to view it here and therefore we have these guys and their job description therefore that is how that one is supposed to be tackled then we proceed to the next question create a pie chart uh, based on this one here above to show the portions therefore what you need to do is to go to create then you hit on report design then you go to design you go to chart you hit on chart and draw then you just go to i want to use query mtp if i just go to next i send my stuff there next then i choose my pie chart therefore this is my pie chart also this is a pie chart there we are therefore the pie chart should be named chart chart finish therefore uh, for that case that's that's how you populate a pie chart therefore you save this one as chart as chart therefore that's how you populate a pie chart then from there you are supposed to uh, you're supposed to print the next question print three tables two reports and the queries and therefore that is how that question was supposed to be tackled therefore let's proceed to question number two create a folder the name of the folder should be the last digits of your index number type the document below exactly as it appears using a word processing package and save it as language in the folder created therefore basically uh, you're supposed to create a folder just as instructed therefore you just right click go to new folder then you name you give it your last three digits of your your kcsc therefore then you double click the the folder therefore for that case i have already typed the document therefore i just need to go to file save us then i go to uh, desktop then I search my folder 009. Here we are. I double click and then I save my language inside there. That's how it's done. Therefore, if I go to my 2009, my index number, then my file resides there. Therefore, after doing that, this is the document I have already typed uh, to save on time. And therefore, let's answer the questions. Therefore, uh, what you are supposed to do is to go to the question. You have typed that one. Typing that one is 15 marks. Therefore, uh, and also there is this part that uh, I have not done. I want us to do together. But before we do that, let's just read the questions. Save a copy of the document created above as final language in the folder created um, above the one mark. Format the heading database languages as follows. Therefore, you need to do this. Drop up the first letter. Therefore, first of all, let's do this. And for that case, I want to draw that diagram here. If you are very keen, if you look at the diagram, the way they are, you'll notice that um, the diagram uh, there, the diagram has been actually been drawn, not importing the shapes. And the examiner here is testing the, the skills you have been taught in class. And whether you have practiced and therefore for that case we just draw this one here but i need i need it to be to be that way and also outline should be black then i take this one i draw this one here and also make it black i also draw another one here i also make it black but this one is not straight Therefore, I just copy this, copy paste, and you bring it somewhere there. 
Therefore, that's how that the examiner has done on that one. And then insert shape. Take this one. Insert shape. You can take uh, this one. Something of the sort. Yeah, something of the sort. Therefore, the examiner has drawn something of the sort. Then, this one here, uh, you hold shift, you click everything, you want to make it one diagram, then you just go to this point here, group, you group, therefore it becomes one, you see, it becomes one. Then from there, you can just copy it, copy paste, then one you keep it somewhere there, there. Then we have another one, they are a bit tall. Then we can therefore, we can have this one somewhere there, and also uh, paste another one. Paste another one, and then the other one should be somewhere there. Paste another one, paste, and then you can have another one there. This one is somehow in the center, but this one is also smaller like that. Then we need to write inside here. The best way to do it is to have a text box inside there. Data. Data. Base. Then go to shape outline, no outline. Then you can just copy this. Copy paste. Paste. Sorry. Just remove these ones. Copy this, copy paste. 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 And this one should be somewhere there. I just bring this one in here. I bring that one there. I also bring that one there. Then I go again in search shape. I take the arrow. That is this arrow. Yeah. If I take the arrow that way, then I go to outline. Then I decan that one. I also make it black. Then we just go to wait and wait. If I just copy paste this, then just uh, change it to that direction. Then also copy paste. Copy. Copy and paste. And bring this one here. That way. Then copy and paste. Copy paste. Bring this one here. Change direction. That way. Then uh, you need to draw these things, the the other stuff there. Therefore, you just need to go to insert shape, and then you take this one. You just draw, just draw that one. 
those ones you can just draw as you wish that way this is supposed to be black should be black then this read here the read is as a, it is black there we are at least now you have an idea on what was supposed to be done there what was supposed to be uh, done so that uh, you can score the marks therefore that's what what the examiner wanted us wanted us to do and also don't forget to group everything again therefore you can do that one uh, that is what the examiner was expecting us to do um, but I just want to make sure that it is not moving if I can just to do this instead of doing a lot of work in grouping now I can remove all this instead of giving me a headache I can just do something good just paste my diagram there this one need to be made in front of text so that it comes back to its position there we are therefore that is a diagram just like the examiner wanted and it's just in one page then uh, save a copy therefore I'm supposed to copy this copy uh, new paste then I go to file save us that way then I just save it as language is final language is language that is a final language final language final language therefore if you are keen the examiner asked me to save it as final language therefore format the final language now as follows therefore I just go and format the final language you move this no you also cross the original yes we shall be left with the final language therefore format the heading to be center to be aereo therefore just go to this point here choose aereo then bold and underline bold and underline then size 16 you choose size 16 there we are and should be center that is five marks then the next point here drop the first letter of the paragraph starting with modern if we just go where modern is here you make this one a drop cup you go to insert drop cup you make it a drop cup four lines therefore you just go to drop cup options um, then choose this one then you add should you drop four lines here you see now this one is four lines should it be drop four lines if i have chosen this and should it be should it drop four lines then i click on ok therefore that one drops four lines apply bullets therefore you're supposed to apply bullets on this you see apply bullets on the search those ones two marks therefore you apply bullets just go to home bullets and numbering you apply bullets then after doing that convert the paragraph starting with the utility this paragraph here this paragraph starting with the utility to two columns therefore you are supposed to uh, convert the paragraph starting with the utility to two columns uh, then set page margins as follows therefore just go to layout yeah then you go to columns then two there we are then from there set the page the page margins therefore you just go to page margins here then custom 
customize ama custom top top should be 0 0.7 0 0.7 top uh, this is these are inches then left 0 0.9 left 0 0.9 centimeters then you apply okay therefore i have done that set the paragraph starting with in the array in the array in the array in the array such that the text is evenly aligned around both the margins in the array where is the in the array the paragraph starting from in the array this one this paragraph starting from the in the array yeah set, uh, set the paragraph starting from in the array here to be justified therefore you go home you choose justified this one justified that's what the examiner wants even uh, okay that one's one mark correct the sparing errors to correct the sparing errors you just go to review and then you hit abc then you just go and change there is nothing to change here if we just go hitting change oh yeah there is some some you see how i've done it until you get this uh, this uh, message that uh, microsoft word sparing and grammar check is complete therefore you now go back therefore i have just gone to review then you hit the abc sparing add grammar you hit change until you get the message that the error has been uh, corrected then after doing so uh, set the range spacing of paragraph starting from the utility this one from this utility to 1.5 you go home you go to range spacing here in the paragraph group range spacing you choose 1.5 just like i've done then after having done that we, ha we are at this part we have set the spacing to 1.5 we, we go ahead then we need to uh, do the following that move the first paragraph to come after the drawing uh, to come after the drawing then insert the following in the footer therefore we just go to that we have been asked to use the, the first paragraph this one to be after therefore you cut it then you paste it here therefore you paste it just like i have done that's the way you are supposed to do therefore the paragraph becomes the last you can use drag and drop or that one then you type the following in the footer you double click the footer this section is called the footer and then you are supposed to type uh, the following um you you, are, you you insert the following a line of six inches wrong your name and index number therefore you just draw a line just go to insert a line go to shape then you put a line here about six inches then down here you type your name down which i and then my index number that way then after doing that now you see now it's visible even in the next in the other page uh then we just go to this one create a table at the end of the document uh created in b above and enter the following then enter the heading this as the entire first row of the table therefore we create this table at the end of this document here therefore first of all we need to know how many columns we have and how many rows uh, how many columns we have and uh, how many rows we have one two three four we have four by four and therefore we just go to insert table therefore you need a four by four just go to insert you type four you also type uh, four then you click on ok then from there uh, this is hash then the next one is dbms dbms then the next one is uh, applications applications alias then we have estimate cost then from there we have number one two three okay, we need to insert another one we right click insert row below 
this is number four number four then now here we have we can just type our staff ms access we have oracle oracle we have mysql mysql then from there mm -hmm, we have the next one we have small enterprises small enterprises 24 24 thousand then here we have the next one is corporate corporate enterprise prices that one is charged 1m 1 million then this one is medium medium enter prices that one they charge the 500 actually should be free of charge good then this one we need to we can pull this behind this is corporate there we are therefore we have done that one then proceed to the next question enter the heading examples of databases examples of databases therefore you need to insert uh, a, a row above row above then you match the cells these ones you match the cells by right clicking then match then you type examples examples of databases that way then you need to center that and probably bold therefore that's what the examiner expect you to do use a formula to find the average estimate cost of dbms applications in the table save the document print the documents therefore uh, we can just go and add a row right click insert row below then here we need the average the average here therefore you hit on that uh, cell then go to design layout here yeah? go to formula then uh, we need the average we need to change this to average to average that way then you hit on that therefore that's how you are supposed to do that question and therefore remember you can download these copies of these documents always from my website the my website address is just below this video that is kichaidon.co.ke and then remember to subscribe on my channel for more in case you haven't done so also remember to comment remember to share my videos or my documents with other learners therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching see you in my next session